Tomorrow morning, veterans and active duty military are invited to a free St. Patrick's Day breakfast with the Military Veteran Peer Network. Here with us now is Anne McKee and Donna Clayman. Thank you both for being here today. Hi, thank you for having us. Of course. So uh, tell me about what you guys are doing tomorrow. Well, we're going to be at 765 Orange Street at the MVPN building at mm -hmm. the office. And we're going to be starting around 830 in the morning. And we're going to have all you can eat pancakes. Wonderful. They may or may not be green. <laughs> um, oh, they're going to be green. <laughs> her husband is actually going uh -huh. to be flipping them for us. And awesome. we're going to have some, um, probably some green muffins and some green donuts. And I heard there might be some green milk, maybe? Green but milk. I don't know about Interesting. That. Green everything. So if you don't wear any, you'll have plenty <laughs> exactly. to accessorize yourself with at the least. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> and usually we don't I've have... I've already got my socks on. So. Oh. Awesome. <laughs> I love them. They've got rainbows and on She's them. She's preparing so. herself. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Normally we don't have sponsors, but this month she actually contacted us and said that her and her husband and the organization that they um, yeah. belong to would like to basically sponsor the breakfast mm -hmm. and pay for the pancakes and everything so and the syrup and the butter and so that's why I had her to come with us today because they're actually paying for the breakfast. Oh wow, awesome. What uh, what inspired you to get in on the, the, the festivities well, this year? We day? have our group, Surviving Families of Fallen Warriors, yes. and our mission statement uh, is uh, to uh, honor and respect our veterans, our active duty, uh, our future, like our ROTC, and our fallen mourners, of course, and our surviving families. So for us, it's about giving back and carrying on the legacy of our loved ones that we have lost uh, through the global war on terrorism. Mm -hmm. And I think something so important, something that's definitely been shown to us over the last two years is how important coming together in, in community and fellowship mm -hmm. really is. And I guess tomorrow will kind of serve as that, will it? Yes, ma'am. It, it, for them to have a way to come together and share their stories yes. and not have any kind of uh, having to do breakfast, bring breakfast, or bring any kind of food, mm -hmm. uh, we'll be serving. I've got a little Irish apron that <laughs> I will have. We've got our Irish hats. Yes. Uh, my mother's maiden name was O'Flaherty. So <laughs> I grew up thinking that everybody had green pancakes and green milk and <laughs> green jello and green mashed potatoes on St. Patrick's Day. So I, I, I felt like we were made for this, <laughs> that we needed to do this. Well, awesome. So, it sounds like yeah. it was written in the stars. Mm -hmm. yeah. Sounds like a lot of fun. If you would like to come out for the St. Patrick's Day breakfast, it will be at the Military Veteran Peer Network located at 765 Orange Street. Their whole breakfast will be tomorrow, March 17th, starting at 8.30 a.m. You can find more information on our website. That's BigCountryHomepage.com. Thank you both for being awesome. here today. Thank you for having us.